For decades, we've been told that salt is the villain behind high blood pressure, right? But the truth is that salt is not the real problem. And millions of people are cutting it from their diets only to find their blood pressure stay higher or keeps climbing. Because the real culprit hiding in plain sight is insulin resistance, driven by sugar and refined carbohydrates. And when you understand how this works inside your body, it changes everything. Now, don't get me wrong. Salt will elevate blood pressure, but it will not permanently keep it elevated. I want you to imagine your arteries like flexible garden hoses that can expand and contract every beat that the heart makes. But when insulin is chronically elevated, those hoses stiffen like old brittle pipes because insulin suppresses nitric oxide the very molecule your body relies on to relax and dilate your blood vessels. So instead of it opening wider, under pressure, they remain narrow and tight, forcing the heart to work harder, driving blood pressure higher. And at the same time, high insulin tells your kidneys to hang on to sodium and water. So even if you're cutting salt at your table, your body is still trapped in this fluid retention and the more sugar and refined carbs you eat, the more insulin spikes, creating oxidative stress and inflammation in the vessel walls. And this inflammation becomes a cascade. This is what makes the vascular system lose its natural elasticity. I want you to think of nitric oxide, like WD-40, for your arteries. It keeps things smooth and flexible, but insulin resistance strips away that lubrication and leaves the system squeaky tight and overpressurized. And here's the kicker. Not everyone responds the same way to salt, which is why your neighbor can sprinkle salt on everything and still have normal blood pressure. While you struggle despite eating bland food because the missing link isn't the shaker on the table. It's the metabolic engine inside your body and when that engine becomes resistant to insulin, it throws off every system that regulates your pressure. Now, let's take it deeper. High insulin doesn't just act on arteries and kidneys. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight wiring that tightens vessels and accelerates our heart rate, raises our blood pressure. So now you have a three-way strike against you. Stiff arteries that can't relax, kidneys that won't release sodium, and nervous system wiring that's pressing harder on the gas pedal, all converging to keep your pressure elevated. This is why simply cutting salt is like bailing water from the sinking boat without patching the hole. You're addressing the symptom but ignoring the root cause, and that's why millions and millions of people remain hypertensive even on low salt diets. But the hopeful news is that the body can heal and reset. And just like a dried out sponge, it can regain its ability to soak up water once it's restored. Your vessels can regain their natural flexibility when you restore insulin sensitivity. And you do this not by fearing salt, but by tackling sugar and processed carbs by moving your body daily to activate GLUT4 transporters that pull glucose out of the bloodstream and lower insulin, by eating more soluble fiber that slows glucose absorption, by managing stress because cortisol feeds into insulin resistance, and by giving your body breaks from that constant eating through fasting or time-restricted feeding, all of which help nitric oxide production return and allow your vessels to relax again. And there's no doubt that salt will contribute to elevating your blood pressure. But it's not the true driver. It's temporary. The hidden hand squeezing your arteries from the inside out is insulin resistance. And if you want to protect your heart, your brain, and your kidneys, don't just blame the salt shaker. Focus on cutting the real culprit that's been overlooked. Because Lowering your blood pressure naturally starts with fixing your insulin. And that's the key that unlocks true vascular health and long-lasting results. So, start becoming more proactive, eat smarter, exercise, move your body, 
allowing that glute forward to bring in that glucose naturally into the muscles without insulin. I hope this video serves you well. Please share it with your friends and family. I wish you only good health and make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.